The new ABC series Scoundrels is about a family of small-time criminals that are forced to change their lifestyle after the head of the house, Wolf West, gets sent to prison. David James Elliott, who plays Wolf West, joins us this morning. And David, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So this is a very different role than what you've been doing for the past decade on JAG. Tell me, first of all, about the crime the family is involved in. Uh, well, small-time crime, I guess. I don't know what, what constitutes small-time. You know, they're not bad guys. He just has a slightly askew vision of, of how to make a living. All right, so it's a little quirky, kind of fun. It's quirky. They call it a dramedy. It has dramatic elements and comic elements that really support one another. It's just a, it's like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. No, you, didn't just, have, you didn't have a lot of time to prepare for this because there was another actor that was already playing Wolf West, and then you right. came on board. How was that? Uh, well, I was a little you know, nervous, obviously. These people had been working as a unit for two weeks before I'd arrived. I'd been in the Amazon with my family for the two weeks they'd been shooting. I came back. I got a call the afternoon, uh, uh, the morning I arrived, and said, yeah, they want you. if you want it, they are offering it to you, but you got to leave tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. So... Uh, but they were great. They were wonderful. I mean, I got a call at the airport from Virginia Madsen and said, the whole family's over here. We're having a barbecue. You got to come over, meet everybody. And it, it, I, it was immediately I was welcomed and uh, it was just, you know, it was nice. Well, it's got to be hysterical was. playing uh, a part from Virginia Madsen. What's that like? Yeah, she's, she's great. Everybody on the cast is great. Virginia's a doll, real pro, you know. Um, I mean, there's not a bad egg in the bunch. It's just weird just having the best time. All right, we've got a, a clip when you're in prison talking to Virginia, so let's take okay. a look at that and take a look. Okay. You cannot succeed in this business, Cheryl, without taking risks. You either go where the money is, or you get out. It's as simple as that. Now, you're a good wife. You've been great with the store, but this is our side of the business. Me and Kells. You're not strong enough, babe. You don't have the balls. You should just stay out of it. So what do you think, watching that? It seems like it's a little bit quirkier than that. That seems pretty serious. Though. That's a serious moment. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty quirky show. So, you know, I... Um it's a great departure from certainly from Harmon Rab Jr. Who yeah. I, you know. Well, what is it like playing kind of a bad guy after playing a good guy for so long? It's nice, certainly nice to wear different clothes. Um, you know, I, I, I'm digging it. I'm just having a great time. It's nice to play it, to, to try on uh, different skin, you know. Yeah, now this premiere is this Sunday, June Sunday, 20th. Yeah, June 20th at 9 o'clock. But on Saturday, you have another um, a Hallmark original movie that's coming out. It's uh, Dad's Home is what mm -hmm. it's called. And this is a, another, this is a pretty serious role. It's about a, a workaholic, single father. How different was that to play, and what was that like? That was, you know, was really, uh, interestingly, uh, the children were the same ages as my children. Same, you know, I, had a, I have an older 17-year-old daughter and a 7-year-old son, and this daughter was like 16, and the boy was 6, you know. So it was the same age difference, and uh, very similar personalities, too. It was, was odd. It was it was great. I mean, it made right. made uh, made it really easy. And my buddy uh, directed the film. He had directed uh, fifty episodes of Jag, and so we, it was just a really comfortable. It was like putting on an old shoe, you know. Right. Was, well, was I understand nice. it wasn't completely serious. You had a little fun with the kids. A little yeah. food fight broke out or something uh, on the yeah, set. What yeah. was that all about? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, that, well, that was part of the show. I mean, oh, okay. they had a food fight. You know, this. <laughs> Any, no family film is complete without a food fight, maybe. Huh? Right. Now, yeah. I know you've been happily married for many years, 18 years, I think. Is that yeah. right? Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. You mentioned that you took your family to the Amazon. What was behind that? Well, I saw a, a film called Crude, which is about an oil disaster in the Amazon, 10 times oh. as bad as the one we're looking at in, in the Gulf. I mean, it's, it's just simply horrific. And, and, uh, and the Amazon had always fascinated me. And uh, we were offered this amazing opportunity to go and stay with uh, an Achuar tribe deep in one of the most pristine biodiverse areas of the Amazon. And uh, so as dangerous as that might be, you know, right. speaking from disease, about disease and, and bugs and stuff, I, it's also, you know, life is not without risk. So uh, How challenging was that, especially to have a, a seven-year-old along for that? 
Well, you know, I was concerned. We went and got our shots, and I figured we're in God's hands, and we're going to go, you know, people go there, and, and they come out fine, and so I just assumed that that would happen with us, and we went in, and it was just a great opportunity to show my children that Los Angeles is not the world, and there's, you know, it's a, it's a pretty big place, and there's a lot of amazing different diverse cultures. So. Fascinating stuff. Well, David, thanks so much for coming Thank along. And good luck this weekend. you got a lot going on. Thanks. Dad's Home airs this Saturday, June 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. And Scoundrels premieres Sunday, June 20th at 9, 8 central. That's all the buzz we have for you today. I'm Meg Oliver in New York. Thanks for watching.